Hello. Um, today we're going to open some green lights that I've been wanting to open, but we're also going to open a, a case of Racing Champion Mint from 2018. Um, and these are cool because they're, they're limited to 2,000 for each of them. Well, 4,000, I guess, because there's an A and a B. This is the B case. But um, I was excited to get get a hold of this. I like Racing Champion. Um, I guess we'll start with the green light. So let's let's try this taxi driver, um, which I think bears the distinction of being the only die cast I own that says the words teenage prostitute on the package. Yeah, the only die cast I own yet. But who knows? Who knows what the future brings? Yeah, it's got a little write-up about the movie and a quote from the movie. Uh, you can pause it and read it as best you can, I guess. It's a 1975 Checker Taxi. Um, I can see a little wonkiness with the wheel on the far side. So, let's see. Yeah, it's just off, it's just the tires off the wheel. Okay, so, let's take a look at this. Dependable taxi service. 65 cents for the first sixth of a mile, and then 10 cents for each additional sixth of a mile. Greenlight has a lot of these checker cabs, and um, I was looking at, I have a couple more that I want to open because of my newfound love of all things taxi. And, um, it's actually pretty detailed in there. Um, oh, it's also wonky as heck. Um, and the only difference are really small things like what taxi sign they plug into the top or whether this, um, license plate is there because it appears to be a part of the casting sometimes this license plate is filled in and sometimes it isn't but it's always there but this one is not always there it's not there on the uh, 71 that I have It's a nice taxi. Rolls okay. I don't much care for the opening part, to be honest, although they did a good job with the engine. It's just, um... Again, I've started, I've started uh, thinking of, uh, the wonky parts as being realistic attributes of wonky cars. So, the taxi driver taxi is... It's okay. I mean, the Matador cab I opened the other day is a much nicer, uh... That's too bad. It's too bad that I don't like this more because I'm going to be seeing a lot of checker cabs if I want to collect taxis. Unless I go outside of green light, which I have. I have in my search for Chinese taxis. X car toys has been a boon there. Okay, up next we have from Greenlight a hobby 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 exclusive 
the spooky and ominous Studebaker Starliner. Ooh, from the stamp. It's from a stamp. It's not a series, but they've done others. I think. Anyway, there's some information about the Studebaker stamps and the ones they brought back in 2008. Uh, yeah. Studebaker. I'm trying to be quiet. I have a very bad headache. There is no headache so bad that a Studebaker cannot make it a little bit better. The white walls are so thick that even when green light tries to mess them up, as in this one, you can't even tell. Is the trunk an opening? No. Nor the hood? That's fine. It's just an elegant little car. Oh, I really like this one. I like the color a lot. I like the, uh... I like the soft top on it, I guess. I assume that's a soft top. I mean, it's all make-believe. I should have looked closer at the picture. You know, I guess that's a hard top. I don't like the look on that guy's face. He doesn't look trustworthy. Fifty three Studebaker Commander Starliner. Just gorgeous. That's just a gorgeous car. All right, our final green light before we move on to the racing champion mints is from the vintage ad car line the 83 Chevrolet S10 maxi cab this little bit here is the maxi part and there's the ad that mostly just talks about how much better it is than the than the the Ford or the Datsun models um, some ads are fun and some of them are just like we do good, we do good things. So I don't know, but in any case, I thought this car looked cool, or this truck. Can't judge it. You cannot judge a truck by its advertising. I really like the front end. Does it have a... Nope. S10. The inside's kind of cartoonish with the like orange plastic.
And I looked at the truck and I was like, that's a very like simple, you know, likable truck. But now that I've got it out of the package, I've, I feel like it's just kind of simple. I don't like the silhouette very much. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. Um, but uh, I do like the front grille. I like it quite a lot, actually. Um, the single headlights. The, I don't like the wheels. Again, the interiors. It looks like it's made out of like um, raw meat. And it's just uninteresting. It's, it's uninteresting to me, so I'm gonna put it down. I'll put it by the taxi rather than by the Starliner because the Starliner is beautiful. Okay, Racing Champions Mint. Our very first one, one of 2000, is in 1996, sorry, 1966, Chevrolet Nova SS. Now, it doesn't say what color this is in. our eyes. The paint's very nice. Super Sport. The door handle is very nice, the locks immediately under it. The badging is nice. These wheels are super nice, actually. Lines aren't perfect. Okay, let's get our let's get our mechanics light here. Take a look under the hood. Yeah, there's a fair bit going on there. About the interior. Oh, we can get this right in there. Yeah, a fair bit of texture to the molding anyway, it's all one color. You just drive the car around like this, it'd be really spooky. The front end is gorgeous. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. Let's see. What does that say? S. Money sign? 3Z7? Is that what that says? SS327. The back end is simple, but pristine. Doesn't open, that's okay. I didn't really expect it to. Chevy Nova. Rolls really nicely too. So 
So I don't have a lot of experience with racing champions. Uh, my only experience is with a series of Muppet um, NASCAR castings. <laughs> So I can't really tell where they where they fit. This feels to me closer to Auto World, but this is just the first one, so I don't know. Um, but I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I mean, I know it's all the same company, um, Racing Champion and Johnny Lightning and you know, Auto World, but there are different teams. And they do have a different design philosophy, I feel like. They're going for different things. I actually was surprised at uh, at this at this lineup. Um, but maybe I misunderstood what Racing Champions um, was going for because my only experience was with those NASCARs. Okay, let's go to number two, which... I can't imagine what you would race this in. 1940 Ford pickup truck. Number two. So this is version B again, went at a 2000. It's funny, one out of 2,000. Like, the the scale of, oh, that's nice. That's really nice. The scale of the production versus something like Hot Wheels or, uh, I mean, even, even where Auto World is getting now, like 30,000 cars or whatever, and, you know, 3% of them are the chase. Like, one out of 2,000, this is almost like as rare as the chase, like it's certainly as rare as a, a super treasure hunt. <laughs> there exist more super treasure hunts for a given month than this car in the world. Um, I think that makes them, I think that makes them kind of special. Um, this is a really interesting casting. Do you like the moving part? It works. And these old timey bumpers always bother me, but I understand that the past exists. I try to understand. Look at that front end. It's just glorious. Wow. Does this open? It does. Okay. So good. This uh, this might be this might be a new favorite. This is this is really something. I mean, you know, I've seen I've seen other companies do old cars and and stuff, but. I think this might be the first time that I've I've got a casting of one that's given me the impression of it being something new and you know coming out and to be excited about. <laughs> like I feel like, you know, you know, it's 1939 and I'm like walking down the street and someone's like, "Hey, you ever heard of a truck?" And I'm like, "I never did hear of no truck." He takes me in a creepy building and shows me this and I'm like, "Oh, what does it do? It's beautiful, anyway. Stupid voices aside, it's beautiful. I like that it's got one side view mirror. Because what would this guy need to look at, right? Am I right? Okay, number three. 1975 Chevy van. 
This looks a lot like, and maybe it's just because it's got that moon there where the there would be like a, one of those little circle windows. It looks a lot like a Johnny Lightning van that I had though, or still have. So, maybe they took the, whoa. Look oh, the wheels on this thing. This one's, this one's a little out of, out of joint. I think. I feel like I'm letting it distract me from how huge these wheels are. This one's at a joint too. Okay, all right, calm down, calm down. It's not the end of the world. This doesn't seem um, like a realistic wheel width for a vehicle of this size though. What is that? Qu quiet Eclipse, is that what it says? Sunset Eclipse. Is that the name of the car? Am I, am I losing my mind? It just said Chevy van, right? Yeah. 1975, probably everything was named Sunset Eclipse. You know what? I'm like 65% certain that this is a, uh, an opening part. Almighty, were you supposed to get that open? Oh, it opens pretty wide, though. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, what you guys gonna do with this van? Man? What's the... This seems like a purpose-built van. There's some s scratch marks, human scratch marks in the roof. Someone trying to escape. Um, okay. That's a nice, that's a nice moving part. That's, I was not expecting that. Oh, the grill's really nice too. I don't much care for the paint job. To be honest. But it is on a very cool van with very weirdly large wheels. Okay. I'll put this down here on the not entirely cool side. I'm already prejudging these things. Let's get rid of this. It's dark, we don't need a blade around. Okay. Eighty six Chevrolet El Camino. One of two thousand. So this is not a removable part. Um, interesting, that's interesting to me. 
this is an opening part. Not a super detailed engine, but ooh. Oh, the tires are really nice. I mean, the uh, not the tires, the wheels. And the badging on the back is where it would be. They seem to know where people stick stickers. Uh, I could live with nicer door handles. I guess everybody could live with nicer door handles in their life. This wheel's a little wonky too. But I'm not gonna be. This is a show car, not a driving around car. As long as they look good, and they definitely look good. Now this front end is not my favorite front end for the El Camino. Um, no, I prefer, I prefer earlier, earlier El Caminos. Um, the front end on them, but it is, it is, this is a very cool car and uh, it does have the cool lines of the El Camino that I like. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about this thing. Uh, but this tarp cover for the uh, the bed, but I mean, you can't really go wrong with a black El Camino from any year. And this actually, I guess, makes it more sleek. And I should probably make sure that it's black and it's not. It's um, kind of a really pretty purple. Maybe it's plum crazy. <sighs> That's one thing. Discerning dark colors. Didn't occur to me that I wouldn't be able to discern between dark colors and the dark. I was just thinking that it would uh, be easier on the old brain. But we've come this far and uh, we're having fun. These tires are gorgeous. And we have a lot of really nice cars out of this out of this uh, case. Like, really good. Seventy one Plymouth Barracuda in a very very um, different. A very different color scheme. Um, okay, this one, this one, okay, so, some of them have metal bases and some of them have plastic bases. This one has a plastic base, unless it's some kind of, no, it's definitely plastic. It also looks like it's got some kind of error for the wheel, but I don't think it is an error. I think it's meant to be like, the front is a low rider. Because it, it rolls really nicely. It says Hemi. Um, I think this is a car that it's kind of difficult to get, get the front end right. Cause this looks like a mess. It looks kind of like a mess. The engine's cool though. I like that it goes through the, the hood. It's always cool. Separate, uh, 
seats and uh, steering wheel colors. Now, what are these door handles? What's going on here? They're interesting. They don't seem real to me. Oh, it says Hemi. Um, but they do seem interesting. The back end is much nicer than the front end. Uh, the wheels are great. The stance is... Uh, at first I thought it was funny, but... Um, it's actually kind of, kind of, uh, very aggressive, um, like shouldery. Uh, yeah, this is a car that I don't have a lot to say about, but I do like it. Um, I thought the color would feel a little more silly than it did, but out of the package, it's it's kind of nice. And it goes with the white quite well. Yeah. And last but not least, the 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. in a sparkly blue, a very dark sparkly blue. To be honest, I don't think my telephone would have done justice to, even if those harsh fluorescent lights were on. give you an idea of it. It's like a nice sparkly blue. Okay, let's turn this back down to normal. The front end seems kind of mangled. It, uh, the license plate says Deep Water, Deep H2O, which I guess is a reference to the the oceany color of the. Is this open? Also closes, I guess. Gray and orange engine. Interior's black. Oh. Yeah, I like the door handles on this one a little more. So it is fixed. Ish. I think I might have to turn them on backwards. No red lines. Um wow the uh the wheels really give the impression of the the hollow eye sockets of skulls, don't they? Is that just no. They they definitely are giving off that vibe. The back end is nice. I never really liked those pointy back ends, but I guess I got a pointy front end too, huh? Yeah. 
That is a really nice color. Very deep. Okay. Racing Champions put out some cool cars. I think, I think there are... I think with, uh, with, you know, things picking up again in terms of die cast and Auto World, um, the reason Auto World has been doing higher and higher r limited runs or whatever, you know, going from like 6,000 to 8,000, and now I've got some that say, you know, one of 18,000, and that's just for version A. So they must be getting into more stores, or they must be, you know, getting more reach. And I hope that that brings Racing Champions along with them, because, yeah, I think Racing Champions do some interesting things. Um, I mean, these are all castings that would not be out of place in Auto World, and um, be because I know that there is some sharing of castings or retooling of castings between them. Um, that it's not impossible that that had happened or that that's even where these came from. But, uh, I don't know. I really, uh, because of those Muppets, I think it was, I think it was Racing Champions that did the Muppets. You know what? I could tell you. I could tell you because I have one. It wasn't. It was something else. So, I'm a liar. I've been lying this whole time, and I apologize. I've been an unreliable narrator, let's just say that. Okay, so let's see. What are the winners from the Racing Champions case? The Chevy Nova SS. The 1940 Ford pickup. Put the van back there. So that's the 75 Chevrolet van. The 86 El Camino. Let's see, let's, let's figure this out. Um, the Plymouth Barracuda. I wasn't, you know, in love with the Chevy Chevelle. I thought I was going to like a lot more than I did. So I think it's between these three. And um, honestly, this 1940 van is... This 1940 van is just... A jaw dropper. So good. This van, um, if you can find another casting with another paint job, it may be different wheels. Uh, the opening in the back is, is really cool. Um, okay, now for the green lights, because we did open three green lights. Um, so taxi driver, boring. Uh, pickup truck, boring. Taxi driver is boring. Um, a little janky, a little just like, like there's r literally nothing. If I was trying to draw a taxi from my imagination, it would be that. Um, Starliner, amazing. The Studebaker Starliner. So, so the Nova and the El Camino are great. The Ford pickup and the Starliner, the Starliner is 50. 55, was it? Sorry. 53. 1940, 1953. Just the, just the coolest cars in this whole, whole selection. I am, um, wow, they're great. They're really great. Especially this Starliner. Well, I say especially the Starliner, and then when I'm picking it up, I'm like, especially this Ford. <laughs> so, um, both of them, both of them are wonderful. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a good night, and uh, talk to you soon.